All right, just reconnecting the, uh, the connector for the gas uh, gas gauge. Uh, this connects actually just underneath here. I'm only going to put the connector on at the moment because I still have to check the fuel injection system. Uh, if it doesn't work, then there's no reason to really connect it. But I can put the connector on the end. Um, the connector again, it's it's the uh, it's the same type as with the directional that we had earlier. Um, these do have to go in a certain way. Notice the pin. Here's the bottom of the pin. Here's the uh, the pin itself. There's actually a little clip. If you run your finger, you can just feel this little little slight rise in the in the pin itself. With the back open and facing you, it's black. Um, call. Uh, I'm not sure if they number these pins. We'll call uh, from it facing away from you with the back open. We'll call this first pin one. You skip pin two. Pin three is yellow and pin four is orange. Again, this fits in like so. Slide it in and it'll click into place. And then that's it. And then slide this back down. And this connector is now ready to go. Again, I'm not going to connect it yet. Uh, I am going to uh, wait to verify that the fuel injection system is working properly. I'll show you quickly how to set up this, how to uh, uh, engage and disengage the petcock, but also do remember you need your transfer line between the two sides of the tank. Make sure this is snugged up nice and tight. Uh, if you uh, have the original, most likely you have those uh, uh, pinch clips. The uh, 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 there's a it starts with an O. Uh, Odeker, Odeker clips maybe? I can't, there's something like that, Odeker clips. Um, but they can be replaced with straight, uh, um, you know, uh, worm drive uh, screw clips. Okay. All right. Basically, it's, as you can see, it's not threaded. It's not threaded. It's just a, it's just a connect that, that goes up inside here. Again, what you do is you, you push up on this ring and the mechanism slides into place. Once it's in, hold it and kind of work the ring back down. Work these two parts, and there we go. You may have to play with it a little bit. There we are. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now that's actually sealed to the to the bike. That's an official, you know, seal for for this petcock uh, device pushes you, you pull it up push up until it clicks in place and the, the ring should slide back down if you want to disconnect it just just uh, lift the ring and the petcock will drop away uh, you won't lose much fuel here either when it when you disconnect it uh, the only place you're going to lose fuel when taking the tank off if you had a full tank like I did uh, is at the uh, is at the connector here Okay, we'll, uh, let's see, where are we at? Up here. This plate is loose. Uh, do I need anything in here? Yes, I'll need to uh, connect this for the fuel injection to actually turn on. So I will uh, unwrap this. Right, connect it to here on this uh, port. And fuel injection should then work. I'll get a little gasoline into it and we'll try it. Okay, we'll continue.